Hey, it's Antti. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create this effect. It is called a Droste effect and it is pretty cool. It has been around a long long time but it's almost like forgotten technique that I'm gonna show you now. I'm pretty sure that you have seen these pictures that there's a person holding a picture frame and inside of that picture frame is a picture of the person holding a picture frame. So it's like endless recursively pictures inside the going deep inside of the picture. And that effect is called a Droste, a Droste effect. So it origins of this cocoa brand, a Dutch cocoa brand called Droste Cocoa, where in the pictures, uh, in the in the packaging was like a nun, uh, some kind of a nun holding a bag, and there was a picture of she holding a, another bag. So that uh, the cocoa butter was called uh, Droste Cocoa. So that's where the Droste. Um, as a word comes from and it's an effect uh, on that basis so everything um, is like a recursive going smaller and smaller all the time and I will show you a couple of techniques how you can achieve that like a really simple version out of that in Photoshop but also if you want to do something even crazier with the Droste effect you cannot do that well you can but it's kind of a really hard to do in Photoshop so I found out a way to do it in in other way around so let's check it out first in Photoshop how you can do the Droste effect yourself and once again, before we go any further in this tutorial, uh, be sure to check out my upcoming Digital Artist Masterclass in the description. And here is a link to the website where you can also get some information about the upcoming workshop and also download my best top 10 Lightroom presets for free. So be sure to check those out. So now we are in Photoshop and we will do first like a really simple version out of this Droste effect. I have this a couple holding a picture frame here now. And the first thing we could do is make a du duplicate of that picture. I mean, it can be a, any picture with the picture frame or whatever you want to use this. And I will just use this um, picture. So let's first mask out the area where the copying should be happening. So I will just make a really quick selection on the picture frame here like that and I will make a mask out of and we will inverse that. So so now we will have that kind of a picture here with the hole in it so we could make a copy out of this and and we will scale that now to fit the frame. It's like behind now of that something like that and we'll try to find a good place for that. So now we will have those people holding a picture of them, holding a picture of them. So we can kind of zoom in, make a copy out of that, and then the, again the lower layer, Command T, and let's scale that. So Whatever your resol resolution is, you can continue this until the, the end of how many times you want. So again, a copy and the lower layer. Let's scale it down. Of course, the resolution will be getting worse and worse the deeper you go in the picture. But it's, I mean, it's a kind of a cool, cool way to do this. And maybe do, let's do it one more time. No, oh, sorry, the lower layer has to be copy scaled over there and over there and so. So this is a Droste effect. You can see that when I'm zooming in, I'm zooming in, zooming in, zooming in, zooming in. Zooming in, zooming out, zooming out, zooming out, zooming out, zooming out, zooming out. So, I mean, really simple way of doing the Droste effect. Uh, use any kind of picture you want. But I think there's more to the Droste effect 
getting a bit more even more weirder you will need uh, an additional kind of a web page or software to do that so let's check out that now um, many versions back uh, there was in Photoshop a plugin in a way included in Photoshop called pixel bender that allowed us to do the this kind of a droste effect straight from the one single pictures um, it is not available anymore so because I wanted to do this droste effect I had to do some research how on earth I'm going to do this kind of a uh, weird um, circle kind of a droste effect that is is not that copying the same picture but it kind of a goes in a sp spiral effect uh, always uh, rec recursively down down and down so I did a lot of research um, I didn't find the pixel bender anymore and but then I stumbled on this one web page called photo spiralysis or something like that and it allowed me to do this finally this spiral thing droste effect and I'm gonna show you how it works so here's the website and there's a couple of versions HTML5 version and a Silverlight version I had to switch my browser to Safari because this HTML5 version works with Chrome uh, that I've been using but it has slightly limited options to do the draw state like a spiral effect so um, the plugin you need to have a Silverlight plugin installed in, in Safari this to, to make this work but this is this have been more and more options to kind of get your draw state effect and when you click it it launches this kind of a uh, web application where you can browse a file so I will kind of a go through and search my Droste effect picture that I um, uh, the picture that I'm using <coughs> is this so I'm just using uh, a cleaned up version out of this image so I cleaned up and retouched and made the background uh, more simple and get the, all these really straight so I have retouched this image so this is the picture I'm using so when I launch this one this will give this kind of a weird thing and you can kind of start testing out what it does but first if I if you want to do this spiral effect that I showed you uh, then you have first have to choose the polygon from here and it kind of gives you these squared edges uh, what you want to do so you will need to drag these corners to the right in a way places like that and then this is the center point and then you just drag that also here so now you can start seeing the draw stay effect working um, already um, you can do the magnification if you lower that up you will start seeing what it does and it's easier you to kind of a get the corners in the right place like that and then the other corner like that so now the corners are kind of in the place you can kind of go really precise on so the corners should be aligned and you can as you can see in this the draw state effect is uh, automatic so you can kind of move around the picture but the simple draw state effect has to be kind of a center uh, again you can use the magnification to kind of get more people in whatever you want really crazy stuff but then um, to do that spiral effect you just go here and maybe add a one spiral and now immediately it goes weird so as you can see the person is holding and holding and holding and holding and holding and holding so it recursively going the spiral and it looks crazy and again you can tweak uh, with the center point where you want the persons to be and also with the magnification you can kind of scale how many people you want to see in the picture and kind of a do kind of variations out of this um, you can use the stretch kind of the, how it's going to blend or how what much warp the spiral will have but I think it should be left at one uh, you can do even like a two spirals now it looks even weirder 
I think the one it's and you can change the direction to clockwise uh, and to counterclockwise so it's now in going the other way around to spiral but I think that looks really cool um, and you just kind of a find fine-tune um, this I also noticed um, that when you're using this uh, when you then you have to save this it starts to render the image and the bigger your original file is the longer it will take I think my last image that I did was something like uh, 5,000 pixels wide and it took maybe one and a half hours to complete because because I wanted to have the same um, resolution as my input image or you can kind of a go here and change the resolution on your liking whatever you want and create a final image it renders starts line by line doing the recursive thing and you will get end up a picture like this and uh, I think you can do crazy stuff with this Droste effect it is one of these forgotten Things because the uh, I don't uh, Photoshop took the uh, pixel bender out of the. Uh, I tried to find tutorials how to do it, but, but I only found these really simple ones where you copy the picture inside of the frame. But I couldn't find out how to do this spiral effect until I found this website. So I really hope you liked this Droste effect, and I really hope you like this video. Um, write a comment have you ever seen or have you ever done these the Droste effects and what you think about my Droste effect um, actually I made addition to my pictures that I also kind of uh, composited uh, these other persons to look each other inside of the frame so it came a bit more interesting and always subscribe to my channel um, it will always make me happy to see the community growing all the time. I really enjoy doing these videos and I will really enjoy your feedback on that side of the camera. So have a great day and research on the Droste effect and let's do crazy stuff with this again. It's one of these forgotten techniques that I think I will try to bring back and people to do all kind of weird mind-bending pictures. So I will see you on my next video. Cheers.